Raspberry Pi today that you can use for many different uh, applications, many different recipes, and we'll make some videos using it uh, coming up. So for making this puree, you're going to need just a couple of specialty things, as one is a fine strainer, and you can pick this up you know, at any department store, Walmart, whatever, for a few bucks. And a blender, I've just got this small one here, um, but that you'll need to puree the raspberries. So let's get started. So here are frozen raspberries, and you want to use frozen. Get them out of the frozen section. Don't try to use fresh. Uh, they just will not produce a lot of juice using the fresh. So you definitely want to get frozen. So all you have to do to start this is we're going to take our blender, and we'll put in some of the raspberries. You want to do this in batches because you're going to uh, have a lot of raspberries to process and you can only put so many in that strainer to get the seeds out at a time. So we'll put the little lid on here and we're going to fix it and it can take a little while for all these raspberries to actually play in the blender. There it goes. And you can see it's made a nice kind of a puree in the blender. Now we're going to have to strain the seeds out. To strain the seeds out, we just need a bowl and our fine strainer. And we're going to go ahead and put the raspberry puree in the, from the blender into the strainer. And then we'll just take the back of a spoon here and start spreading it around. And sometimes just kind of beating the strainer on the bowl will also help get that puree to go through the strainer. It's a fine strainer because this has little seeds and you want to get all those seeds out. So just keep kind of moving it around with the back of the spoon and tapping it seems to work pretty well as well and do that until all of this has been gone through the strainer except leaving the seeds and then do another batch. So it took me about three times using the blender and the strainer uh, to get this done. And e between each of those batches, I rinsed off that strainer because the seeds get stuck in the holes and you can't uh, get any more of the juice through for your other batches. So wash the strainer out between batches. And as you can see here, you've got a nice thick raspberry sauce. Now it's terribly sour. So if you want to use this in a dish, uh, make sure you add sugar to it to taste, to sweeten it up. It'd be great, like just a little bit in a glass of champagne, um, poured over anything, chocolate, raspberry and chocolate is to die for. So, uh, but we'll be making a video here shortly of a raspberry angel food cake that you're gonna love, especially for the summer it's a great light cake and we'll be using this raspberry puree in that video. So hope you enjoy the raspberry puree and look forward to seeing you in the next video.